All right, so today I'm going to be setting up the Trident, um, then letting the Apex kind of just do the monitoring thing, and then adjusting the salinity uh, by adding a little bit more salt and doing water changes and whatnot to try to bring up the salt level a little bit at a time. I'm doing it uh, slow uh, or slowly. So let's go ahead and set up the Trident because I want to monitor the other parameters as well and see if I need to dose um, any other things. Obviously, I probably need to dose some things, but we'll figure it out. All right, so here is the trident. Um, I'm going to slide it out a little bit here, along with uh, the tubes that we need. Uh, I'm going to be looking at the instructions real quick to see what we need to do. All right, so I got the I got the instructions here. It says open up the Apex Fusion, and then there is a little task looking button here, and then we are going to go down to. Trident initial setup. So I'm scrolling down here. Trident calibration initial setup. Here it is. Click on that. Okay, so this says it's going to set up the Trident uh, to the apex. It says do not connect to the apex. Okay, you got it. Um, all right, it's videos. Let's watch some videos. All right, so uh, first thing is just checking over the things. We got the cable that's going to connect the cable to the energy bar and then we got the tubes here where they're going to be drawing the samples from so I'm going to set this aside here and I'll follow the next direction and I got this pulled out here all right so I did the first uh, couple steps here and that's connecting the sample line which is the black line the waistline which is the white line pushing it past the little uh, uh, knob here and then I got the cable here plugged in to the trident but not into the apex yet um, and then we're going to move to the front to set up the reagent, which is this here. All right, so I plugged in the Trident. It's doing some initial calibrations. Um, I'm also updating the firmware uh, on the Trident, uh, so I'll we'll see. Oh, it turned orange, so it looks like it's going to be. Oh, that's doing this thing. Uh, yeah, it might take a while here. Uh, once this thing kind of gets settled down, uh, we'll figure out a schedule uh, for the measurements. So yeah, it's right now it's uh, updating its firmware. Oh, it's complete. So yeah, we'll let uh, the Trident do its thing and kind of get some data points for a couple days here, and yeah, we'll we'll see we'll see what it looks like. All right, well this kind of sucks. So while it was powering, it was doing the initiation thing. Uh, it triggered a red color. I looked it up. It was uh, no water sample. So water basically wasn't being pulled in the sample line. What I did was I took the the line here. I went outside um, on my central aero system and I ran air through this to see if air would come out on the other end because this, this hole is kind of pretty small and the air on the centralized pump is um, pressurized so it has a lot more you know power than what you can just sit here and try to blow through this little tube and air was coming out of this so there was no kink in the line so I checked that out. Um, and what I did next was I went in the back here. And this is the sample line here. I tried putting the sample line directly into like a little water here to see if it will pull. Um, there's a test button on here. So I found that the water sample line is this number three here that's labeled. And it has a little thing that you can pull up here. It's black. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right there. It's a little clip next to here. So this is the water sample line and you can press this button here and it'll basically start pulling from this pump. Um, tried this, didn't work. And I pulled this out here on just this white clear line and pressed this button to try to see if it would pull in directly and it didn't pull. So I think there's something up with this pump. Um, it seems like everything else was working okay, I think, um, for the most part that I can see. Well, I couldn't tell just because um, only this thing wouldn't pull in water. Um, it has some waste, like, you know, reagent that got deposited out there. So I think these other pumps are working. Um, 
but yeah, so try to call uh, Neptune. Uh, I think they're just out of office or out of hours right now. Um, so I'm gonna try to call them tomorrow. Send them an email. I'll see what happens. So uh, unfortunately, I guess this stuff happens. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, so I just got off the phone with uh, tech support with the Neptune guys. Super helpful, super, super nice guys. Um, and they're pretty responsive. Uh, and they're, the way it works is like, if you have an issue, you can just submit a ticket online um, and they'll schedule like a phone call and pretty much uh, walk you through some stuff to troubleshoot. So what they had me do was take apart the Trident. So you have to un unscrew all this, leave this on the side or whatever, and you have to take it apart and underneath there's these uh legs or little stoppers that are screws you can unscrew all four of them and you can take it apart and i'll show you in a second here and then when you take off the cover the face cover here they, there's these clips that are on the bottom you basically have to kind of push like this and then kind of pull up um, from there and it comes off like so all right so i had some terminology wrong uh, so I kind of want to go through the same terminology here. So if you guys have issues or or need to troubleshoot some of your Trident stuff um, Here are some of the things. So there's only one pump uh, These are solenoids and this is the manifold which is the black thing in the middle which maybe you can get here So that black thing in the middle is the manifold Maybe, maybe it's easy here. So this one here is your sample uh, Solenoid and this one here is your waste solenoid. So number three and number four and these are your reagent one. So what they had me do was basically clean out the lines for the 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 sample water sample here. Um, and what what I did was you press this button here, and you can tug this tube down. And all it is it, it just kind of hugs um, this solenoid here. And then they had me disconnect the tube from the manifold. So this clear here, this is all one tube actually, and it wraps around here. And what you do next is you grab a syringe, pull it with RO water or tank water, and you run it down this tube here. And this tube connects to a black line. You see the black right there? That black line is your water sample line. So when you press down on it, if you feel pressure on there, that means there's something in the line from here down to here that's causing it to stick or there's like a particle or something. And what I had to do was, um, when I put this out and started pushing this water through, I had pressure. So I had to massage this line all the way down uh, to break up the particle or whatever it was in there until water came out of this water sample line. And luckily it did, so this flushed fine. And I flushed basically like two syringes of this down this line here, so number three line. And afterwards, I plugged that line back into that manifold there and they had me uh, take disconnect it from this um, coupler right here that connects the black line to the clear line and flush that line from here to the waste line so this basically pushes the water out from the clear side and when I you know when I had that I had no issues because I was already having you know reagent come out of the the waste line so I had no issues there but they had me flush that. So once that line is flush, we know that the system inside is good and the only kink or issue now would be from the actual tubes itself. So we, there's actually longer tubes um, for the water sample line and then for the waste line. So if there's any issues now, we know that's gonna be from the tube side and not from the Trident side. So I'm gonna put everything back together and we're gonna run a test and we're gonna see if everything samples. All right, so I got everything plugged back in. They also said to leave this cover off so you can actually see the water fill up here. This is where the testing happens and occurs. Um, so if it fills up, then we know that water is being pulled from the sample line. And obviously we already know the waste line is going to work, but it's priming right now, it's blue. Um, I'm going to queue up some tests um, and kind of let it do its thing and we'll see uh, if everything works. Crossing our fingers. Look at that. We got water. Let's pull it in water. Oh my goodness. So that was the fix, guys. Whew. 
Uh, I thought it was broken. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it's pulling in the water, it's filling up, thank God. Um, so yeah, I'll let this thing do its test, finish out the test, whatever, and we'll kind of go from there. Uh, shout out to Neptune's uh, tech support. They were super helpful, super patient, by the way. Um, if you guys don't even know anything about taking stuff apart, they're super helpful, really patient, um, and they definitely explain and they'll wait for you in terms of that. Uh, but yeah, I'm just glad that the thing's up and running. So Apex has been up and running for about a week. We finally got the Trident working. Uh, I wanted to kind of get it up for like last week to kind of get some numbers going, but that's okay. We got it up and running. We'll kind of run some tests. We'll monitor the um, the, the setup here and the tank. Uh, I, what I've been doing for the last week, every day, I've been adding a little bit more extra salt into the tank to kind of bring up the salinity. Uh, I wanted to bring up the salinity slowly and not really rapidly. Um, so it's been going up um, every two days about like 0.5 uh, parts per thousand. Uh, and, and so it's been going very slow, which is fine. So maybe another uh, week and a half, we'll try to get it up to the levels that it should be at. Uh, but yeah, this thing's working. This is awesome, this thing's working. I see the waistline kind of getting dumped here. Um, so yeah, that's good, that's good stuff. But yeah, I'm super excited to learn more about this automated system. It's gonna help me a lot in terms of just doing the measurement portion of it, just because, yeah, the measurement's easy. You can take it here and there, but you start to kind of get lazy um, over time. And if this thing's automatically just doing it for you every day, you know, four times a day or whatever, you're gonna get numbers. And all you have to do on, you know, the hobbyist side is to correct for it or, you know, dose. And eventually what I want to get is a consistent number and I'm going to start with the dosing um, for it and we'll start very small on the dosing and we'll kind of bring up the alkalinity or whatever it's going to be low. I bet you stuff is going to be low in this reef tank for sure, um, no doubt. Um, just because I haven't been, you know, regularly monitoring or measuring um, these parameters. So yeah, a lot more exciting stuff to come up in the next few weeks here in terms of just monitoring and automating some of this stuff. Um, but yeah, if you guys are subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe and like always, and that's some guys. Peace.